Over a two-hour period, upwards of 50 millimeters of rain poured over the Waterton Town site in Crandall Mountain Sunday evening. About five people were caught in the storm, all were uninjured and were airlifted to safety. Now officials are working diligently to clean up the closed-off areas. When we initially got this rainfall, it was a very significant rain event in a very short period of time. So we observed rock slides in uh, areas such as Bear Sump Trail right away. And upon observing that, we uh, discovered, we decided that uh, further ass assessment was needed before we could open up other areas of the park. Other trails that were impacted were Acamenia Parkway and Red Rock Parkway. But as of Wednesday afternoon, Red Rock has been reopened to the public. The downpour follows nearly six years since the Kenow wildfires ripped through the town, and Meidinger says regrow and recovery in the park has been ongoing since then. That's been a really long ongoing process. Uh, this is another event that will take some time to recover from. Uh, initial assessments appear that you know damage isn't going to be as significant as it was during Kenow. Um, those assessments are still ongoing. Although portions of the park are closed off, the town site remains open to the public. Right now, uh, everything in the town site is open. And to be honest, drive through the town site, you would not even know that anything had ever happened. Uh, so all the businesses are open. Suleiman, who also owns Bayshore Inn and Spa, doesn't believe the storm will have an effect on tourism to the southern Alberta hotspot in the long term. People have been calling to say, should we cancel? Is the park closed? Is it flooded? And we're kind of saying, no, it's not flooded. The park's not closed. Everything you want to do, no problem. You'll have no problems doing it. So I think that's probably the frustration from business owners is, is the confusion. Well, Parks Canada says this is an evolving situation and they will continue to take a measured approach when it comes to reopening up all the areas and parkways. Adding a full understanding of all the impacts from Sunday's rainfall will take some time. For Bridge City News, I'm Angela Stewart.